All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So just welcome everybody. Um, this is today, well, today is finally here first. I'm so excited, I've been excited. I've been working on this for a little bit. I'm still working through some things, so hey. It's going to be however the Lord wants it to be, and that's that. Um, this is Woven's Women of the Vine's first study, um, and we are doing the Becoming Woman study. Um, this is going to be a journey that we are embarking on together. Um, it's going to be a lot of uh, changing, a lot of... Uh, pressing um it's just gonna be a lot of things um as you know i have started on the book myself already um i believe i'm on like day 67 um just a little bit for me from the book it has really opened up my way of thinking my just just everything um as far as life goes for me as for as a woman and just looking at different things it has helped it has helped me in a lot of ways um to look at uh, different things in a way um just as far as the way i dress the way i eat just a lot of things so i think it'll be helpful for us um as women and as we are, are growing um in god and developing who we are in him so it it, it, it has been good now everything will not pertain to you um, some stuff he's gonna be like, yeah, okay, um, cause I was like that when I was doing it. Um, some stuff, some days, you're gonna really meditate on those things, and some days, like I said, you're gonna be like, um, oh, I see it, but yeah, that doesn't, you know. But like I said, this is gonna be a growing um experience and a learning experience. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm just excited for us to get started in it. Um. So, before we get started, we're just going to do a little prayer and then hop right into the next thing. All right, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for today. Um, just thank you just for being who you are in my life. Um, just giving me the opportunity to share um, this Becoming Woman study with the rest of the ladies. Um, I just ask that you just go before us um, and just continue just to guide me. Um, allow your words to come out and whatever it is that you want the ladies to know and myself to get out of this study that we allow ourselves to be open, open our hearts and open our minds um, to get what it is that we need to get from this study. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Lord, my strength and my redeemer. These things I ask in your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now, how we got to this study. Um, first off, I was trying to come up with a women's conference or some kind of women's ministry deal and the Lord got gave me the word grace and then we got walking in grace um, and as I started looking up different things to do a walking in grace conference or walking in you know something like that for the women um, and as I was doing some studying God put on my heart to do something like the elder teaching the younger. So basically not elder as far as your age, but just elder in spirit um, and learning his word and things like that. And plus as a woman, we have other women, older or younger that looks at us um, and that's influenced by us that we may not even know. Um, so that we need to know how to walk in grace and be that godly woman because um, we are influencers. We people do watch us, and so we need to know how to do that with grace and how to do that godly. Um, and so, as I was studying for that, 
um, this book came about. Um, I was searching for something online as far as grace goes, but this book came up and I was like, hmm. And I started searching for this book, not knowing I had this book on my bookshelf all these years and never even picked it up. So I was looking on my bookshelf and I was looking for something from Priscilla Shire. Can't even remember what I was looking for at the time, but, and I ran across it. I was like, I just saw this book online. And so I just picked it up and um, read through it one day and I was like, okay, I get it. So um, I started reading through this book and doing this book day by day. And then my husband was like, why don't you do that with everybody? I think because when you sitting here talking to me about it, I think a lot of women can benefit from it. So you're trying to do the walking in grace, but maybe y'all need to start here. Um, so, yeah, um, so we're here. But and I never wanted to do um, a study or even speak on the Proverbs 31 woman because many times you see women have women ministries or women conferences and they're always talking about Proverbs 31 and how it's hard to live up and she did all of this and she's this and she's that and I really think that they missed the whole point of the Proverbs 31 woman uh, because they always try to compare themselves to and always talk about how hard it is to do what she does and the world is different now and all this kind of stuff so i never wanted to do it just because a lot of people did it out of context or you know that kind of thing so i i was always taken aback by that um but reading this book it just breaks it down um almost verse by verse um and gives you another perspective to look at it by so i was happy to see that when i um started getting into this book so, like I said, I think it's going to be really great for us all. Um, and like I said, I'm on, I believe on like day 67 and I am starting it over with you guys. Because there's a lot of the stuff um, that is in the book that I didn't do when I'm just doing it on my own. Because I, like I said, I was just going through it just to see how it is. But now that we are doing it on, as a group um, and I'm you know, doing it, facilitating it. I'm not in charge. I'm a facilitator of it. Um, I'm going to try to do all of it that is asking me to do this go around with you guys um, on that. And so also with the study, like I said, it's going to be a journey for all of us together and we're going to be learning and growing together. And so with that, we have to keep each other accountable um, with doing this study. Um, there will be some things where we have to communicate daily. Um, we might have to answer questions, post questions. Um, so it's going to be a, a doing life together as women and growing together. So um, everybody has to be accountable. We have to be accountable for each other and we have to be open um, and honest in this study. And that's the only way that it's going to, that we're going to grow truly um, in this study. And if you come like that and able to open to do that, then it will, you will get out of it what God wants you to get out of it. Okay. Um, also, while I was trying to come up with this um, and how I wanted to start it, one of the questions that I was asked, like, what is a woman? And I was like, man, it's a simple question, but at the same time, it's hard. to. It was difficult for me to answer. And I know I sent out a questionnaire, and that was one of the questions that was on it. And it took me forever to answer the question there, to be honest, because I was just like, uh, yeah, like, no, I don't, I don't know. It's because it makes you really think about a lot of things. And I, I couldn't get past that first question. What is a woman? Like that really, it really stumped me for a few days. I was just like, I don't know what, know how to. And so me and Brand sat here and brainstormed. And he was like, well, you just start throwing stuff out and. 
we can try to back it up with scripture and stuff like that to try to help you figure it out. And I'm like, okay. But <laughs> so I was just like, I, I'm really stuck here. Like I'm a woman and I don't even know what it is. And so, um, so, you know, we just started going through some things and help meet of course came up and then wife, mother, all the, all of our roles, but, um, help meet is the, the key. And, basically a, her, a helper um man's rib um and then we got that from genesis um so that's where i got from that but yeah that that was that was that one was really hard for me to come up with because i was just like man because i didn't want to be too technical and too biblical and it was just like i didn't even understand what it mean you know understand it or and it was just it was just crazy i just never really thought about it like that until I had to do that. Um, so, um, as far as the schedule, of, the schedule, and how we're gonna do this, um, we will meet on Sundays outside of today, because um, I I believe that today we needed to meet in person on our first meeting and starting this. Um, and those of you who couldn't be here, um, this video will be posted. Um, on, can you, one move? Thought it would do, but, um, this, I want, that one unknown anyways. I don't even know how to work that. <laughs> um, this video will be posted. I will send out a link, um, and going forward, I will send out a video on Wednesdays as well. And I, um, just leading up how the study goes or what we have to discuss throughout the week um, in the book. I may post videos on other days too, outside of Wednesdays. But right now, we will have videos on Wednesdays. Um, there are questions that I will be posting pertaining to that week's study as well. Um, of questions that you have to answer. Um, we do have a website. Some of you have that. Some of you don't. But I will give you guys that website information. That way you can have access to the videos and to the questions um, and be able to answer those questions and communicate on the forum and all of that stuff for the Becoming Woman study. Um, Sundays, it will be Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. If you're not able to make it again, there will be videos that you can go back and look at it. And all you have to do is post a question or something in the forum. Let me know that you did look at it. Um, and you were a part of that lesson, like I said, because with this, we have to be accountable to each other um, and honest and looking at those videos, communicating in the forms and all of that is a part of the study. And for you to fully get the full experience, you have to do those things um, and have to be willing to do that. So if you miss it, don't feel bad. Just watch the video and post in the form. Um, let's see. My outline. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys have even looked through the book or anything like that, but it is weekly. Each, week's ha each week has its own um, title or category or theme for the week. Um, and like when I send out the videos on Wednesdays, it will be discussing the days that we have gone through. Because you have to be, like I said... You have to make sure that you're, you are making yourself accountable. You will be doing Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on your own. Wednesday, when I post the video, I will be discussing those days um, and what I got from it. Or if I had any questions or anything like that, posting it then. And then on Sundays, we will go over the next couple days after when, so Thursday and Friday and Saturday, and redo a recap of the week. And then we'll go discuss the next week. Um, I know Monday, Monday through Friday is really title days. And then on Saturday in the book, 
it's like a reflection of what let me let me look because i don't want to lie um it's like a recap or a catch up like i said because doing this study you do have things that you have to do um throughout the week when you're reading it and so saturday is really what will really be a day to catch up or check up on things that you didn't do throughout the week that it wanted you to do and then on sunday it's just a reflection of the entire week um and that day you won't do on that day you won't do like a catch up or um anything that you missed you won't go back and do it that's what saturday is for so if you didn't do it on saturday then you just didn't do it um and i didn't do it so this round like i said since i'm doing it with you guys as a group i'm holding myself accountable and i want you guys to hold me accountable as well to do it um so you'll go through monday through friday like i said on wednesday i will post a video um going over monday through wednesday and um any questions or comments that i have i'm gonna post that from there and qu with questions as well i have separate questions um, from a group study perspective that I will be posting. Now, every week would it be something different. Um, and then on Sundays, and so it'll be the reflection, and that's what we would do on Sundays when we do meet. Um, and sorry, I didn't even say how we will meet. So on Sundays, <laughs> we will meet um, through Go to Meeting. I'm going to send a link out for that. Um, it's at 6 p.m., and it will be recorded as well. Um, and that video will be posted. Like I said, you will know whenever I post the video for the study. It won't always, it will always be Wednesday, but it could be any other day as well, just depending on what the Spirit gives me for that day of lesson or whatever. Um, now, also with this study, there is something that she has called a notebook or a journal. And that's basically what I have right here. Well, one of them anyway, a daily journal that you will take with you all day, every day. And you basically, whatever thoughts or whatever you have that come to you throughout the day, you can jot it down that pertains to what you read for the day. Um, Cause I tend to try to read the lesson um, in the morning time. Sometimes I don't, but I tend to try to, that way I can think about it and meditate it throughout the day. Um, and make little notes in my notebook that I carry around. Now, also with that, there is something called a notebook that she um, mentions that you need to have in here. I mean, for this study, I didn't do that because I didn't think it was re relevant. But as I've been going through it, it is relevant. I think um, I think it'll be a great part of the study. So I am going to do that with you guys on the group. Um, and I will ask for you guys to do it as well. Like I said, I didn't think it was something that I wanted to do. But as I've been going through these weeks and seeing how um, it pertains to each week. Um, and it's not something that you will do in the, in the notebook every week. It's just different weeks ask for you to, hey, add this to your notebook or do this and do that. Um, and so for that, you would need, um, like a daily planner or organizer. Um, and, and I looked up her video when she started this study and she had just like a little planner notebook, like about this size and it had little pockets or whatever. Um, and it had a calendar and all of that stuff where she could either jot down different things or whatever. Um, and she had like three, three whole punch holes on the side it was a little neat book so if you want to look up that i can send that video to you i think i have it just so you can see her starter notebook that she used um you will need a paper um a monthly calendar divider tabs um a hole puncher you may you can just get papers with holes in it um but you will be needing that because there are other things that She'll tell you, hey, add this to your little notebook so you can reflect on it um, in here as well. So we'll go over that more when it's um, time to start doing that. And, hey, I may even put the video that she has 
about the notebook into uh, one of the videos just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, also, in the back of the book, she does put little tabs and tags that we need for those notebooks to kind of help us out. And then also with the um, different things for different weeks, um, you will need different things. And she'll tell you, refer to the back of the book. Um, I also have the book on audiobook, so that's how I listen to it a lot. So um, it helps me to listen to it and follow in the book. So some in the morning, I'll listen to it through my audiobook. And when I come home, I'll listen to it again with the audiobook and the physical book. And that seems to help me out a lot. But in the back of the book, it has different weeks that you will need different things. And she'll tell you to refer to it. Um, let's see. And then like these memory verse cards, she'll tell you when to do that. Because each week has a verse that you have to read. And that verse is coming from the Proverbs 31 um, chapter. And then the memory verse can be any other verse throughout the Bible that she um, acclimates to that particular week study. And you would have to memorize it. I haven't been memorizing it, but I have been reading Proverbs 31 Woman. So the memory verses are for that. So um, we will be challenging ourselves to memorize that. Um, I haven't decided what version because I want us all to be on the same accord with that. Um, but I guess we'll just do whichever one that's in the book. So for that week, um, whatever that memory verse is, we'll memorize that one from there. But if you need to go to another version to kind of really understand what that verse is saying, do that. But as far as memorizing the verse, memorize it from the actual book. But that way we can all be on one accord of, you know, what we're memorizing as far as that goes. Um, let's see. Now, I think the first couple days was like the most challenging days. Because it really made you think about some things. So I think this first week um, of this study is going to be really crucial. So I don't know how long uh, we may stay on week one study. Just because it says week one is day one through seven. Um, the spirit may not have me to move from that until we get certain things. So yes, yeah, a 90 day study, but it could be longer. It could be shorter, just depending on how the spirit leads. Because I'm not gonna, you know, quench that um, when it comes to the study. So yeah, just be mindful of that. And like I said, that's that accountability that we're holding to with to each other. And it's a journey. It's not a sprint. So we have to get what God is trying to show us, and we're not going to rush that. Um, <clears throat> huh? The book is? Okay. Um, I didn't even bring them questions in here, but... Hmm? No, I have the que the questionnaire. It was the questions I have for the week. Like, I have questions that pertains to each week um, that was used, like, for a group study. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, those will be the ones that I'll be um, posting on Wednesdays <clears throat> for that midweek um, scheduling. Um, like I said, it's going to be some challenging stuff in here, and you're going to be like, man, can I do that? Yes. You can. Um, I did it. It helps. Um, so let's get into this questionnaire that I sent out. And thank you guys for uh, filling out the questionnaire and sending it in. Um, I did go through each of those individually. Um, so I do have those. Um, I, I will... For the ones that's not here, I will um, send you my feedback on it for you guys. 
not really just feedback, just um, since you're not here in person, we can't discuss it. But um, I just will send you something pertaining to that questionnaire personally to each of you guys. But I really appreciate you guys uh, participating in that. That just lets me know um, how serious you are about it. And I know um, you guys couldn't be here. It was a whim that it was just say, hey, let's do it in person. And some of you guys were looking forward to come, doing it on Sunday um, on go to meeting. So I completely understand not being able to be here today. Um, but I will communicate with you guys um, after this. Um, <clears throat> so on the questionnaire, like I said, that first question was... What does it mean to be a woman? Like I said, I already told y'all how I felt. It took me a long time to get past this point um, in the questionnaire. Where is my phone? Oh, duh. I'm using my phone. I know, right? No, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. So do you guys want to use... I'm not going to go over every question, just... The questions that I saw, because a lot of the questions, um, everybody who turned in questionnaires, they were kind of right on. So, I mean, not right on, but in the same vein with the answer. Mm -hmm. A lot of them said woman is a help me, um, a servant, you know, that kind of thing. So we were kind of in the same vein. And again, I got that from Genesis when God created, created us. He created us from man's rib. So we are the man's real we are the help me we're not here to hinder a man can't fully um serve his purpose without the woman but what kind of or how are we portraying our, ourselves as a woman today if we're not who we supposed to be then they can't fully be who they supposed to be so that's a big part of us having this study so we can grow who god created us to be so we can be that woman that wife that rib because also in the bible it says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing so we have to know who we are as a woman so we could be wife so he can find us so yes um <clears throat> did you guys have anything on that question <laughs> yeah, yeah, we was all in there together with that. How about the um the next one we had was walking and um, what does it mean to walk in grace? <laughs> Let me tell y'all, when I first thought about this question, this is where my mind was. <laughs> so, y'all know I play Sims, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, I play Sims. So, in my mind, all I can think about was, you know how when you have to build your character and it say, how you want to walk? Of how you had your walk and they be walking yeah. on. That's all I was thinking about was just. <laughs> yes, I was. I'm telling y'all, that's where I was at first. I'm like, well, it's not all about how you walk. Like you walk like, you know, like you somebody and you just like you unbothered and you just walking. But no, <laughs> but that's where I was. That's. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if we were talking about it or discussed it. Let me see. The first time I talked about it. Uh, then I found that scripture. Oh, yep. Uh, 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 u
Which one? I mean, what is it? Psalms 34 19. Psalms 34 19. Y'all hear that? Psalms 34 19. <clears throat> Please, I'm just trying to pull up everybody's question. <clears throat> okay. I don't know how to pull. See, I don't like this fancy stuff because I don't know how to work it. <laughs> I'll leave all of this fanciness to him and his computer. Oh, it's fine. It's still bright over here. <clears throat> okay. So, I can't pull it up from my phone. Because of the kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. It's on Outlook. I'm on the wrong email. <clears throat> Let me see. I have. Y'all know I can't see and I ain't got my glasses on. <laughs> Don't tell my husband I ain't got my glasses on. I'm trying to see because he going to fuss. Like, get your eyes. You know you can't see. And don't ask me where they at because. They somewhere, but right now I don't know where they are. They may be in the car. Maybe. <laughs> That's where they may be at. Yeah, I just I was just Trying to act like they didn't see it. Mm -hmm. We may be in business. I think so. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's record. I'm recording it on my phone. Now, the thing is, how huh, I'm going to get it over here? I might have to link it to this Mac. You're right. I'm going to airdrop it to the Mac mm -hmm. so he can load it onto the website. Yeah. He probably going to do some edits and all of those things. Okay. So, 
so this don't want me to access it see on this computer i don't like chromebooks or whatever this thing is because it's a it's a it's a chrome something yeah so because i always have a hard time accessing my outlook from here because it's not gmail And when y'all did y'all responses, it, oh, here we go. Yay. Okay. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Brown said, so know that God covers and protects me, that he is patient with me and I should be patient with others. Amber, to walk in the fullness of God and reap the benefits of his unmerited favor towards me. Let's see what I said because I don't remember. If it'll show me. Oh yeah, I did. I put... To walk in grace means to believe what God has said about me and living and applying his word to my, my life every day. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's just basically um, just believing God's word and what he says and just living that um, and believing that wholeheartedly. No matter what you go through daily, no matter what happens or anything like that, that you live by his word and you just walk in that way. Um, and you will, you will walk gracefully in God. <clears throat> That's what I believe. Um, and another question that uh, was kind of difficult for me was, what was your hope as a child? Um, I know we discussed it earlier. Um, I wanted to be some kind of police officer, not even a police officer like a parole officer. Or I wanted to do something in criminal justice. Um, outside of that, I always wanted to be a nurse um, because I always love serving others, helping others. And with both of those professions, you did that. Um, and that's just something that I was, I've always been drawn to. Um, something medical-wise or criminal justice-wise, I've always been led to that. That's always been something in my heart or a passion of mine. Um, and that was my hope because I always seen myself either in scrubs or in police outfit. I don't know why, but that's just, that's just how I was feeling. It's crazy because we recently did that personality test. Yeah. Um, that Bram was had to do for class and he was like, Hey, I'm gonna send this to everybody. And we did that and um I can't remember what the word was it said I am, but whatever it was, it said on there uh yes, a lot yeah. logitician or yeah. something mm -hmm. something of those sorts. I know I've jacked that all the way up, but um yeah, it said that and it said that a couple of professions that those type of people have mm -hmm. the first one was police officer or something in criminal justice then it had like nurse because we are nurturers we do love to take care of people and care about people and serve others and mm -hmm. so um because we're very logical we go by schedule we buy the book we're time you know all those kind of things because at first when i read it before i even read those professions and things i was like yeah that ain't me i'm not <laughs> And he was like, really? You really you really don't believe it? But I read it, and I really dug into it and read it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, but, yeah, that was, that was my hope as a kid to be um, either a nurse or something in criminal justice. Um, yeah. What about you guys? I don't think in my mind that I would have I'm gonna be this until I got a little older and I started 
helping my little cousins with their homework. That's when everybody was like, girl, you're a good teacher. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, like, I guess, I don't know. Mm. And then that's what instilled it. I think it was their, them instilling in me or saying to me. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I never <laughs> really gave it no thought, like, ooh, mm-hmm. I want to do this. No. I didn't, I don't know what I was doing as a kid, but I was like, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, one more thing, I was one of them kids, like, ooh, my dream is to be this. Like, I, I honestly think I was just living life. Yeah. Because like, I was like, why would I focus on that? Like, yeah. Now, like, why would that, why would I be looking into that? Mm-hmm. And I think even in high school, I was like, I'm going to go to college. I like science. Yeah. Period. Even yeah. I ain't taking no words. I don't <laughs> do anything with it. I just like it. Yeah. And it's something that I enjoy learning. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I don't. And that's why my question was like, because I'm like, I never. I never gave it no thought. Yeah, I, li- I like science too, things. but you asked me something about it now, it's just like, uh, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Everybody else kept saying, like, you can teach, because I guess my cousins, some of them had like a little bit of learning disability, and I felt like, hey, if I can help him pass that little point, yeah. maybe that is something cool to do. But, you know, as a kid, I don't think I was like, ooh, I'm going to be blah, blah, blah. I was just living life. Mm-hmm. I think for me, like, I, first of all, answering that question, I was like, what was I doing? But then I remember, like, I always wanted to be a mom. Like, I would have, like, play babies, tomboy crazy. I don't know how that works. I don't know how to balance <laughs> nothing. But I was just like, ooh, I want to be a mom. I want to be this. I want to be that. And, like, I've seen... Like, what I put on there, I see my mama, you know, doing stuff, taking care of everybody, doing all the things. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. That's fun. But then, when I discovered I could sing and I could do stuff with my vocal cords, I was like, oh, I want to be a singer. Mm-hmm. And then everybody was like, oh, you should do that. <laughs> and so, like, my high school thing was, I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to go to school. Like, I'm going to go to college for music. And then it became, well, you know, they don't make money, so we shouldn't do that. So then I was, okay, well, let me figure something else out. And it's funny because you say teacher, I want to, I dodged that one quickly. I was like, I don't want to be a teacher. I don't, I don't even like, I don't like. I had a specific grade in mind, like, please don't teach me because I look like one of them. No. Oh. <laughs> the elementary. Right, I look like. I clearly don't know what you're You're right. You're right. Like, you clearly were talking about elementary kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, dang, what? What? Yeah, nah. That was, I mean, but it's bad though. Like, I didn't want to teach. And I got into, like, teaching and our school program. And I was like, how I end up here? And then when I got to, like, the school, I was like, right. I didn't want to do this. Yeah. I, now, my goal, I said I want to go sing somewhere. I want to go do something. Now I'm in this classroom and I kind of like it. Yeah, in but I don't room, really. Did you still sing? Yeah. And all the I did. I did. I did. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. You know, I did a couple of my <laughs> But I don't know. I guess I put the idea of being a singer, like in, like in, in the back of my head. Like I always sung, but being like a famous singer or something. That that oh, went away. Yeah. <clears throat> but with our hopes as a kid, thinking about it now or looking at who we are now. Um, does that hope, because basically it's just what you believe, like what you, you know, and like the Bible says, um, faith is basically your faith and what you believe in. So the faith is the evidence, you know, things hope for. Um, and so, like I said, I hope to be a police officer or a nurse that's what I believe that's what I want that's what I want that's what I believed in my heart that I was supposed to do yeah. um and just looking at my life and how God has um did it the this far yeah. um yeah I'm not a police officer yeah I'm not a nurse but I'm still I still serve I still care about people I still do that so it's still in the in the uh, in that hope that I was hoping of what I wanted to do, it may just not have those titles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I still 
was able to do that and it's all it was it's all part of his plan it was his plan for us to hope that so we can have that belief and that faith in him um to do those things you didn't become a teacher but you've been you know technically that you did it to amber you have you're not a mom yet but technically you've been in schools but with kids you your job now you're working with kids and you are that mother that mother figure to the kids so you see how having that hope that belief and what as that as a kid got you to where you are today um and so in this study we're gonna have to have that same faith and that same belief of getting out of this study what we hope for Mm -hmm. um um, the next question we have on our questionnaire is what was your ideal woman as a kid who were your examples good and bad um me let's see my I have I put two on mine one was my grandmother my grandmother she served people took care of people she she was she was never about herself like she always it, for a lady I think my grandma was six foot something she was a tall woman she was she was real tall um she never drove a day in her life well my grandmother she was born in what 1912 um and never drove a day in her life and she, when I tell you, she always got to where she needed to go. She walked or bus everywhere she needed to go. She didn't wait on nobody, depend on nobody, because for her, other people was depending on her. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what she loved to do. She loved serving people. And not, me being with her and growing up with her, I saw that and I learned that. And that's something that I really admired. Um, my grand, my grandmother took care of um, white people all her life, mm-hmm. and in the end of it, they were taking care of her. They did for her because she took care of them so well, um, and they started taking care of her and doing things for her, and just to see her love for people and how she treated people, nobody was a stranger to her. Um, that that. That that I wanted to be like her, mm-hmm. um, and and that that was that was my example, um, my example, and our birthdays were a couple of days apart. She was born October twelfth. I was born October fifteenth, um, and yeah, that that was just that was that was my 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 woman, my lady right there, was my grandmother. Um, she had a big heart, and everybody knew everybody in Garland knew her. She helped. Brand's grandmother, she raised her or helped raise her. I never knew that until I met Brand and met his grandmother and told her who I was. And she was like, Betty Brooke, yeah, that's what she's like. She used to keep me. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. So, um, and so everybody knew my grandmother and she used to go thrift to the thrift stores. I mean, she hoarded clothes like it was nobody's business. And, but she didn't do it. She had garage sales every day, but she didn't have garage sales to make money. She had garage sales because she knew people needed things. Yeah. So if they came by and they, she really didn't charge them. Mm-hmm. If they wanted to give her something, she was fine with it. But she did what she did just to help people out, mm-hmm. even with the little that she had. And so that was a big inspiration to me was her. Um, and then my other one is my aunt now. Um She's the baby out of my mom, um, siblings. Um, she's kind of close in age, like her and my sister around the same age. But she was a big inspiration to me because she was the only one in my family that went to college. Um, I saw her from high school to college and going to college and visiting her and just seeing her graduate and move on. She ended up being a counselor in high school in high schools and then went to teach and she didn't like teaching and she went on to be a police officer went to the police academy and 
worked for the sheriff's office and for a little bit. Now she's a police sergeant. So it's just like just seeing her stair step her way um, up. And she's been an inspiration to me as well, just to see her keep moving and be the one that graduated in the family and no, when nobody else does. Mm -hmm. um, and just, just that, just seeing the type of woman that she is as well um, was a big inspiration to me. And she always encourages. And, yeah, those, those two women were my examples. Like, I, it was me and my mom for a long time, but her example was, you know, I mean, it, it was one. It was an example, you know. Um, it was it was so much to, to the point to where I know what I didn't want to do or what I didn't want to look like. You know, I love her. Yeah, I do. I love her to death, but yeah, yeah, I, I didn't want that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I knew. I knew from looking at my mom. Oh, when I get married, I'm getting married once, and that's it. <laughs> No more. I don't believe in nothing else. Just once. Just once. The other the other word ain't even in the cards. No. Um, that's what I learned from her. Married once. That's it. Okay? Once. That yeah. That's it. That's that's all I know is once. And so God has blessed me with that because the the other thing is not an answer. It's not in the cards. It doesn't even exist. Okay. Yeah, we we gonna talk about this. Okay, we gonna talk about this because the the other hey we made them vows. That was it. Okay, and I'm I don't thank God for to take me right now, and you not gonna be taken either. So hey, that's off the table. We finna push through this thing. Okay, but yeah, so yeah, that's what I learned from her. Um, how about you guys? Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, my mama was married to just my daddy until he passed away. But, I mean, I always seen her being a mom, my aunt. And then, mind you, my daddy's side is pretty big. So, I mean, I know a few, you know, of the immediate on his side. But then, as far as just women in general, it was pretty much my mom, my aunt. My cousins that I call my aunts <laughs> and my grandmothers, but I guess as far as looking example wise, I, I wasn't paying attention. Like I seen my mom be a mom, but I always associated with that. What mom do? You cry. You know, as we do when we're kids. Like, okay, she working, taking care of the house, which is, I guess, of the world. Well, that's how it was perceived. Uh, Grandmother's always been married to my grandfather that I'm aware of. So, I mean, I always seen, I seen marriages, but then some of them I didn't see. Mm -hmm. Because my, my aunt slash cousin never been married. But, I mean, and then that's why I, I put, like, I seen women, and I know that I can either do it with somebody or I can do it without because that's what I seen. Mm -hmm. So, not to say that they lack in any instance because they're single because they still prevail. Mm -hmm. And then seeing my mother who was married still orchestrate the family. So I've, I've seen it both ways, single and married. But I, I mean, I can't say that I've seen anything negative, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I've seen struggle, sure enough. Right. But then I mean, most of it, I tell you, most, my mom and my dad went through some things that I didn't, no, as, as a kid, you don't realize because they they try to they try to make sure that you don't yeah. see the struggles. Yeah. You may be struggling, but they do everything in their power to not yeah. allow the kids to see that. Right, well, that's that's I think the good part too. Yeah, you know, kids don't have to. And they, your mind, you like my parents good. Yeah. I mean, because I damn well remember more than I would. Yeah, she's older, but. I can say, like, for my dad, mom, I, I can say she very, I was definitely full strength from her because I feel like she just went through so much. Mm -hmm. I feel like my grandfather, who was not really my father's father, stepfather, <laughs> I feel like he was just, he had a strong personality. Yeah. I and I feel like she just put up with 
I, I feel her on that. that I feel I feel that, her that, on that. It it takes take, it takes a uh, it takes a strong woman to put up with a man that has a strong personality. And especially especially if they're not especially if he's not a man of God and willing to allow God to change him into who God need him to be then that that's different because that closer to the end of his life is when that came about but I know her to be you know that praying green she stayed in I know she stayed in here thank God you know what I mean but him on the other end my Lord yeah yeah. Like she works with elderly people and I'm like, you elderly too, fam. How you gonna help somebody 
But, you know, but for her, it's a constant move. But with her, she, like, you saw a lot of her grieving, especially from a mother's perspective. Mm -hmm. Because she had all the kids except for my dad. Like, her, my dad is, I think, the youngest. Or not the youngest, but he, he was close to my mom, like, my, grand, my grandma. And, like, all of a sudden, he just disappeared. Like, off the face of the earth. And she was, like, dealing with it. She didn't know how to handle it. Not seeing her child every day. So, that was, like, a little hurtful place for her as well as, like, my granny. You know, losing my uncle. That was her first child she lost. She's still dealing with it. And losing her husband, she's still dealing with it. And it's like, with them, you kind of see the pattern of get along, get like, go along and get along. Or if you feel like somebody is kind of attacking you, like, you attack first mm -hmm. so that you don't get hurt. Uh, or just kind of be able to keep on going. So, that was the bad part. The good part, um, like, it was a woman that I put on the questionnaire. She was my youth leader, but she was also my English teacher in sixth grade. That was funny because she used to be, like, she was very weak. But you could tell she was very, like, and when you talk about the Sims, she walking in grace. Her walking in, like, she would walk really, like, prissy. Like, mm -hmm. It was just... She come to work dressed up cute, and I'd be like, "Come on, be like her, cause." And when she gave that word, like she gave it, she would spit it and keep on moving. Like, hey, I'm gonna drop it for you. And if you pick it up, you pick it up. If you don't, that's cool. So I think that was like my main, like especially as a child, my main inspiration. I, was, I definitely want to be like her. Like to this day, I love her. I'm glad we went over this question because. As I was going through the, the questionnaires to seeing everybody response, yours was the one that stuck out to me. I was like, what? <laughs> this That was my face exactly. I was like, she's going to have to explain this to me. Which one, the English teacher right? No, the, oh. the front part, because I was confused on, because you had on here your mom and your grandma, and I'm like, her mama? So she's gonna have to explain this to me. No, not the good. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, that, that's why I'm saying I'm I'm glad we yeah. went over this question so you could ex you explained it. Yeah. No, and then okay, because I I'm telling you I was like I was so confused. So, like you said exactly. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Eight years of my life, she's that was the one. That's all I know. Yeah. 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 So I'm glad we went over there because I'm telling you, I read, I was like, wait, Tim, but wait, no, 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 what? I did. I did. Yeah. yeah that was, I mean, she's decent, but not really. She's a good worker. Damn it. Like, hey, mama. Ooh, yeah. Know, yeah. We praying. We yeah. We at praying. praying. Yeah. All right. So we're not going to go through over, I'm going to go through all of these questions. Is it one of the questions that um, we had on the questionnaire that you guys wanted to discuss? Or if y'all, if y'all remember any of them? Um, so we had that one. We had the one about being married or wanting to be married. Um, the faith question and why is it important? Um, ways your faith need to improve or grow. Um, are you a woman of influence? This one, not that one. It was the other one about the self-confidence. Wow, y'all. I'm telling you, these responses... These responses that we got. I said no because when he got charged, yeah, right. When you were there, what made you think? Let's yeah, let's discuss that one. Let's let's discuss that one. So, listen, listen. I don't know if you guys read that fully. It said it was a trick question, okay? And I don't understand. I don't know if you guys fully understand what trick question means but if not hey you answered it truthfully so i mean hey you did yeah. these these have look listen listen it says do you have self-confidence some said no some said yeah i got plenty of self-confidence you do you have plenty of self-confidence I mean, I'm working on self-confidence. Okay. But then we had this one who was all up in my stuff. Uh -oh. You hear me? Just was like, no, I don't. I have confidence in God. And I'm just like, you read my notes, did you? 
You read my notes, then. But we're not going to talk about who uh, who was all up in my notes, okay? Thank you. But it, it was crazy because I had just went over a lesson. I believe it's in the book or I was reading something else. Um, but it was just like, let me, let me look because I, I don't want to check it. I hope it's in this one. Yeah, I have two of these. So I have notes in this one and notes in the other one. So I don't know which one the notes was in. But, uh... But because I kept confusing myself on which one I was writing in at the time. But when I sent Bram my notes to get them typed up for me, I was just like, he read my notes. How did he know that I was just talking about this? Because he tweaked my questions for me before he posted the questionnaire. When I saw this question, I'm like, you read my notes. He said, now you know I can't read your chicken scratch. <laughs> like, well, well, thanks then. I said, well, we was in the same place with this one, so I'm glad you got through it and answered it. But it says, oh, yeah, it is in the book. So it says self-confidence versus God-confidence. And it was from Psalms 34 and 5. It's the, the scripture that they referenced. If anybody can pull that up for me real quick, because I don't have it. 34, 30, 34 verse 5. Um, and it says, self-confidence, you look inward. So we look at ourself um, like, I, I can do this. Um, I believe I can do this. It's all about self. It's all about you looking at what you can do um, or what you believe. Psalms 34. Yeah, so that's what self-confidence is. And your yeah, it's, it's your ability. It's what you can do. And it's not about us. It's not about us. I was one that was big on wanting to do everything for myself. Um, I was, I always said I have loads self-confidence low self-esteem low this i was always in self but it's not about us it is not about us we can do nothing out of god we cannot do anything apart from god so if we're in this talking about um self-confidence you trying to do something that's why it's always going to fail that's why it's never going to work because you cannot do it you cannot do it Jesus died on the cross for us for a reason, because he knew we couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So whenever you always, you talk about your self-confidence, your self-esteem and what you can do and what you can do, you literally take Jesus off the cross every time. Mm -hmm. We have to stop that because it's not about us. It's not about self. We have to stop looking inward. We have to have God confidence. With God confidence, we look upward, not inward, upward. Because once we take our eyes off of him, that's when everything crumbles. So we have to continue to look upward and look to God and have confidence in him. Because in him, all things are possible. In this flesh, in ourselves, we can't do nothing. So do you have self-confidence? The answer should have been no. The answer should have been no. You do not. Don't look inward. Like I said, that used to be me. I used to want to do it all. Um, I could do it. I wanted to. I was looking at this. When you look inward, you always, you always, because you're comparing yourself to what you see around you, and that's where it comes from. And it's, and it's not about that. So, God confidence. You look upward, and that's where we have to look. Keep our eyes on Him, and you should be all right. Um, the scripture that they referenced. 34 and 5, those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Yeah, so when you have that self-confidence and you thinking you can do whatever it is and you need self-esteem self and all of that, what it says right here, your face going to be covered in shame because you're looking at yourself. I'm sitting here right now without this camera being on. I don't know what I look like. So why try to have confidence in this? I can only see myself 
do y'all I, y'all can see me y'all can tell me what i look like i shouldn't be worried about anything else only god keep your eyes up that's it that's it no self-confidence god confidence moving forward that was a good one y'all yeah yeah. Because, I mean, you see all self confidence folks. We all self self esteem. You see self. Yeah. If you see self anything, if you see self anything, it's wrong. <laughs> if you see self anything, it's wrong. Because we cannot do it. We cannot do it. He didn't say have self confidence. He mm-hmm. said come over. Yeah. He didn't say. Yeah. 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 It says, look, it says, look to him. Yeah. He's our help. Yeah. Not we our help. Yeah. We can't do anything. We gonna fail every time. Every time. Every time. So yeah, no self confidence. God confidence. Continue to look upward. There you go. Start looking upward and not inward. Upward, not inward. Mm -hmm. and that's when your hope your hope leaves because you looking in yourself yeah you putting hope in yourself yourself. again you you, yeah you put hope hope in other people belief in other people in things all of that that's when self-condemnation, that self-condemnation, no. that's when that starts. Y'all, yeah, that self-condemnation yeah, that, that, is, that, that, that is a yeah, yeah, that is a thing, that's something, that's something drop true. that self-condemnation because yeah. that, hey, that, I think that took all of us out. Yeah, okay. yeah that, that one right there <laughs> took, <laughs> that took all of us out. No more self-condemnation, no more. Mm-mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yep. Start looking upward, not inward. Get it, get away from self. Cause you can't do anything. <laughs> there will be a nice shirt. <laughs> All right. Um. Let me see. Now, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. The last question on this questionnaire is how can we, as women on this journey, help you? Right. You know, like I said, in this in this study, it's going to be a journey, a journey that we're on together as women growing, trying to become who God created us to be. Yeah. We have to be honest. We might have to even be vulnerable. We have to have an open mind, open heart. And we have to hold each other accountable. Accountable. Mm-hmm. Um, if we can't do that and you're not willing to do that, then I don't believe this is a study for you. This, this, this won't be the study for you. You have to be willing to be open, willing to be honest, willing to listen. Willing to be corrected. And it's not like you're it's, not being corrected in love. It's not like I'm downing. And it, like it's I'm not like they're. Help. It's not like that we're wanting to pick on you or anything like that. God will use all of us if we're willing. Yeah. So if someone is telling you something or saying something to you, take that with love and believe that it's from God. It's not that we want to pick on you. It's not we want you to stand out. We're women on this journey together, working together for one purpose, and that's to become who God created us to be. So talking about not pushing you in one direction or the other, if you don't want to be pressed on and prodded on, pruned, if you don't want to be pruned, this is not the study for you because we're going to be led by the spirit and however God lead us to do. And if he leads us, to say something, that's what we're going to do. Um, so if you're not willing and open for that, sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. We're not going to change it. That's that's just that's, that's just the way it is. 
again, we're holding each other accountable. This is the journey that we are willing, open and willing to be on. Mm -hmm. And we have to be honest with ourselves if it's something that we want to do. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Listen. If we we got we got to be honest. Because I mean, you be. Yeah. Honest with all the wrong people. Uh huh. And that and that called and yeah. Something wrong, and if I did tell you something wrong, or I offend you in some type of way, that's big. Forgive me. Yeah. But baby, if I give you a scripture and I tell you, you still gotta st study to show yourself. Like I'm gonna give it to you. You go study it and see what you get from it. But I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's how are we pushing? Like, who says? If we push, if we feel like different. we pushing you, that means it was supposed yeah. to be for you. Right. So if, if it if it cut you, if yeah. it hurt you, it's conviction. In love. And right. Because it's, it's supposed to be convicting. Yeah. And it's supposed to change. It's yeah. supposed to raise right. I'm not pushing you for you to stay the same. Right. Yeah. Right. But listen. But listen. it's all gonna be in love. So we, you listen. We yeah. all we all got the same goal. Literally. Mm -hmm. So if I'm pushing you, I'm clearly pushing you in the right direction. I'm unless your to... goal is different than my goal. Right. So then maybe we need to discuss those. Like what would you <laughs> What what's you your goal? Goal? Right. What's, your, what's on your? Earth? And what's that goes with what you expect. <laughs> yeah. You said you expect to grow and be what God wants you to be. Then if pushing and pruning comes with that, it comes with that. It's in the That's Bible. it. It's in. It's in the Bible. It's in the Word. It's in the book. It's in the book. <laughs> That's also, it. In, but in that, when it says it's, like we will say it, like some of us we said in conversation. But it's really a scripture when it says that the true step shell sure. sets you free. Yes, ma'am. If you're not gonna be truthful, that's how you can't get free. Like right. you can't you're gonna be bound. And mm -hmm. you're gonna continue to say, Well, don't push me. Well, you're gonna continue to walk in bondage. Yeah. And then when you try to figure out why you weighed it down and you're so tired or you're frustrated or you you're going it's like this is the because you're not letting your truth set you free. You're right. not speaking that. So if you're speaking that one of us like we like you said, like Brown. Y'all can't see, but what when you was like somebody might have what Pepsi just said, somebody might have what you need. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that. They say so, you never know who is holding what, what you, you need. need. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's in that that sense of if you speak it, you may not have to carry that for the week. It could be something that you're dealing with for the week, little things, because they come. Yeah. And it's just if you're not willing to speak that or say, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm going through. And like y'all said, it's the it could be a scripture. It can be just say simple, okay, well let's pray about it. Let's do this, let's do that. But it, it's it's pushing in general. Mm -hmm. And that's as believers we are we it says we took, should assemble ourselves mm -hmm. with each other. And that's gonna be a push. If we're not walking like you said, if you you walk you going against the grain, you gonna feel it. Yeah. But if you walking with me, it's smooth. It's gonna hurt, but it's gonna smooth yeah. over. And yeah. I said it was gonna be rainbows and skills. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That Jesus What's that? What's that? Yeah, your Jesus look with. Nobody said there was going to be no blood on top of it. Like, no. Ooh, it's supposed to be joyful, but it's his joy, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> his joy is our strength. Like, yeah. And we, like I said, we have to be willing to be pruned because he's the vine, we're the branches, and he's going he's gonna to prune us. Yeah. yeah. So we have to be will, open and willing to allow him to prune us. And that's the only way we're going to become who he originally created us to be. That's it. That's it. Um, so we've been through that introduction. Um, again, Sundays will be our meeting on live day on Go to Meeting. Um, you guys will receive that link for Go to Meeting. That will be the link that we will get on every Sunday um, for that um, to meet together. Um, on there. Please make sure you have your cameras on. If I have to be on the camera, you yes, guys got to be on the camera too. Because right um, <laughs> who don't like to be on the camera is me, okay? So if I have to be, y'all have to be. Make sure you come with your cameras on because we got to see you. I don't care if, if you're missing an eyelash or what. If you didn't comb your hair or what because it's going to be days that I don't have my uh, 
hair comb like today. Um, yeah, I don't care about any of that. He don't either. And he don't I, either. I, I, so I when you come on go to meeting, come with your cameras on. Um, yeah. That that's 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 what we gotta do. Come with our camera. We wanna see you. We wanna see you. Um, like I said, Sundays, six PM, go to meeting. You will get the link for that. Wednesdays, it will be a video that I'm going to post. Um, it may have questions. It may not. But it will be pertaining to the week's lesson um, for those first couple days. You have to make yourself accountable to do the lesson every single day, Monday through Friday. Um, again, yeah. And there will be some deals with that. Every morning, you get up. Every day you do the lesson, you will be obligated to post in the forum what you got, what scripture you read, or what you did that day pertaining to this study. That's keeping yourself accountable and allowing us to keep you accountable. If I get on there and I see that you didn't put a post on there, I'm hitting you up like, hey, did you go through the study today? What did you get? Why you didn't post it? I'm going to even post it. If I forget to post, I need somebody getting on me. Uh, Hey, you didn't post it. We have to hold each other accountable, but that's the only way we're going to grow. So, again, Wednesdays, I'm posting a video. Sunday, we're going to be together on the go to meeting. Monday through Friday, we have to go through the lesson on our own. And then every day we post if we got up and prayed, what we pr uh, not what we prayed about, but if God gave us a scripture, if we spent time with him, um, what we got in the lesson for that day, whatever, to hold ourselves accountable and do that day every day, that's, that's the way we're going to do that. Um, if that doesn't make sense, contact me. We'll discuss it. Because we, we, we're doing this together. We're doing this journey together. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, we're going to get through. I left my binder, my folder in there. I think it's under the TV. It's a vanilla folder. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and start on week one. Um, Originally, it's supposed to start tomorrow on Sunday, but since we are starting it today, we're going to go through it, but you technically do not have to start it until, well, it's Monday through Friday, or the actual lesson Saturday is a recap of the week, and then Sunday is a reflection of the whole week. So, technically, you do not have to start the study until Monday. Um, but we will be going over it right now today to get us prepared for the week. And the next time you will see my face will be on the Wednesday video. So, again, we are starting this Monday with the first day, day one. But we are about to discuss it right now. Um, so, week one of the book is called Faith Foundation. Um, when I read this one and saw what I had to do, it was a challenge for me. Um, y'all listen, I am, I mean, I don't call myself a critical thinker. Um, so when I have to really think about things, um, it makes me feel some type of way. Um, but doing this book has really helped me um and even um in my role at the job at my role at home as a mom as a wife um i know that i have to be able to sometimes think on the fly i like to sit and process things and if i can't process it then i'm very uncomfortable um but sometimes it, I I can't I don't have that long to process things. I have to do it right then. Um, it still makes me a little uncomfortable, but I'm adjusting to that. Um, but this study, I mean, this week lesson, the first week, was one that I really had to think about because in my mind, I know what I want to do and how 
how I believe God made me to be, but to actually write that down and get it on paper, it's hard for me to convey that. Um, so doing this really had me to sit down and think about it. So I had to rewrite this a few times, redo it a few times because I just, I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in myself. I thought it was um, pieces from here of something I read or here from something I read, which means it's somebody else's. So I really had to. I think I went through the other days and then came back to it mm -hmm. and did it after I had to sit and think about it and yeah. read other stuff in the, in the week, and it helped me do it. Um, I think when I got to the Saturday recap is when I got it, or it may have been the next week. I don't remember, honestly, but it was something that was difficult for me to come up with. It was something difficult for me to come up with, but nevertheless, I did. Right. Um, and I do see it. I did. I do see it coming to fruition. I do. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so yeah, the, this, this first week is faith foundations and I think, I believe it's, it's a good one. Um, this week, it, like I said, some of these weeks, they may be longer than just a week. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how the spirit leads and, um, how, how it's going to go with that. Um, this one is, I think a very critical week, um, of information of what we need to do. So, um, your yeah, week one, day one, it is, the title is Place Full of Confidence, Place Full, Your Full Confidence in God. Um, and that goes with what I was telling y'all that took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Day two is commit your time, yourself to time alone with God. I loved that one. Um, let me tell you, I did it for a little bit and then I did fall off, but Hey, um, but yeah, so I plan on getting back on it with you guys during this group study, um, and staying on because again, I want to be the example, um, for you guys and Hey, let y'all know that we can do this. Um, day three is meditate on God's word. Day four, be a, be a woman worthy of confidence. And it's not self-confidence. It is that confidence. Day five is choose to focus on the positive. And again, day six and seven, day six is the daily checkup. So during the week, Monday through Friday, if it had you to do different tasks, different things, Saturday will be the day to catch up on those things. If you didn't do it, um, it'll ask you some of the things that you implemented that it asked you to implement, some things that you think you want to implement. So it's basically just checking up on things that happened throughout the week from the lesson. And then Sunday is just a reflection. So that's the day that you will go over whatever memory verse it wanted you to memorize. Um, and just how you applied it. It has different questions in there that applies to that week as well. You can write in a book. You can write in your notebook, however you want to do that um, to get that done. But Saturday and Sunday is just a reflection of things that you discuss during the week for the lesson. Um, that's rain. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Um, each day, like I said, it has a memory verse. Um, it also has a passage for you to read. Um, it also has a guided prayer. Then it goes into the personal section to where she, um, explains different things pertaining to the lesson. Um, how it affected her life and what she went through. It may have questions. It may not. Um, and it did, will give you a word of affirmation um, as well of how you're going to apply 
what you just went through for that day. And then it'll have a section on there labeled practical and then a section labeled notebook. That's that notebook that I was discussing with you guys that you would need to keep or um, the little daily planner thing when it'll ask you to add a tab to your notebook, different things like that. Um, on my next video, I will try to get a notebook and put it together on there so you guys can see it and you guys can have it as well. Like I said, the notebook is something that I didn't do when I was doing this study on my own, but I do plan on doing it with you guys doing this group study. So I will make a video on that and the notebook that I chose um, to do this with. Um, Uh, 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 uh. I don't think this goes with this. Nope, that's lesson nine. Sorry. Hold on, y'all. Let me find where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Everything was together, y'all. My bad. Okay. So. So it, it describes the. Um, it kind of breaks down the title of the book on this first week. It says, Becoming is a Journey, which I keep saying that this is a journey. Um, woman, I really don't like their definition of woman that they have on here. Um, they said something about femininity. I can barely even say that. That's why I don't even like it. Um, but woman is basically man's rib to help me. We are helpers. We are wives already, even though we're not, some of you may not be married. I am. Um, but if you're not a wife, you are a wife according to the Bible. Um, so he who finds a wife, that's woman. Um, it says God, his choices, his guidelines. That's what we'll be learning about as well, wants, um, desires, um, his desires for us, not our desires, what he desires for us, um, and me, who God wants me to be, me just be, making it personal, making it unique, um, who you are in him, um, and that's how they broke down the title of this, um, in this first, like I said, this first day in the book, place your full confidence in God. With this one, um, it's going to be asking you about life purpose and for you to make a purpose statement. That's what I was telling y'all that was hard for me to come up with. That took me, I couldn't do it that first day. Um, I had to really sit and think about it. Um, yes, make a purpose statement. It says, did Jesus have a purpose statement? Mm -hmm. On here it said, yes, he did. And if we want to look and see, there's an example of it in John 10, 10. Let me go there really quick. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. All right, John 10, 10, it reads, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. And I have come that they may have life and have life more abundantly. So his pur Jesus' purpose was to come so we can have life more abundantly, which means he died on the cross for our sins. That way we are no longer sinners. We are saved by him. So that was Jesus' purpose. So we have to come up with our own purpose statement for day one. Yeah. See why it was difficult? We have to come up with our purpose statement. A purpose statement does not have to be elaborate, complicated thing. When you write it, be cautious that it does not become about you. We are part of God's story. Sometimes talk about purpose can become selfish 
as if finding purpose is mainly for our own fulfillment or happiness. Our truest happiness comes in serving God and others. Scripture about purpose or a popular verse reading, our purpose and life plan is Jeremiah 29, 11. Thank you, Lord. Yes, it is. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. 